Like I said before, I have no liking for crowds. I must remain vigilant of evil attacks, especially during the holidays. I will continue my patrol as usual. You should also exercise caution. And if there's any danger, good. our visits with all the Adepti. Let's take a break downstairs before we head back into the city. Oh no. What should we do? Huh? Oh, Lady Kuching! Lady Kuching! I'm so glad to see you here. Uh, Fang Yi? What's wrong? What are you doing here? Lady Kuching, let me explain. I had rearranged the fireworks layout and expanded the range to Qingsa Village, just like you requested. My people finished setting up the fireworks, and we left someone in charge to launch them for the show. But... <sighs> the person we left in charge came back shortly after, and reported that all the fireworks in Qingsa Village had been stolen. I immediately reported the situation to the Millileth, and had another batch of fireworks made to be transported to Chingsa Village under escort. However, everyone's short-handed during Lantern Rite. The Millileth are already stretched thin and don't even have enough people to fill their regular patrols. They can't spare anyone to look after the fireworks for us. We don't have many materials left, so if the second batch of fireworks gets stolen as well, we're done for. So... I was thinking to go to Chingsa Village and have a look first. Which is when I bumped into you. Lady Kuching, what should we do? According to the Ministry of Civil Affairs, the number of guards on patrol has to be doubled and rotated continuously during Lantern Rite. They must perform these extra measures in addition to their standard daily affairs. The only manpower they can muster during the festival would be the emergency response units. But, those special units are intended only for backup. There are not many of them, and they cannot perform prolonged guard duty. If we wish to make use of them, we'll need to resolve the problem quickly. Hmm... Maybe we can ask the Adepti for help. This would be a piece of cake for someone like Cloud Retainer, or Xiao. <sighs> no, that would only make us look incompetent. I'll handle this, Pungyi. That's right! We can take care of this, together! Thanks, you two. Actually, I have an idea. Let me make some arrangements. Pengyi, go back to Liyue Harbor and get the fireworks ready. Then meet me in Qingsa Village. Traveler, come with me. Let's ask around to see what happened. How could a whole batch of fireworks just vanish like that? Hello, Granny Roshin. We'd like to know more about the recent fireworks theft. Oh, Lady Kaching. I can hardly believe you came personally to investigate. It's no trouble at all. Please, tell us what happened. Well... When they brought the fireworks, the children in the village were very excited. They were all gathered round, watching the area for a long time. The workers piled up the fireworks and said they would go confirm the locations to set them off. That's when they left the village. Oh, now let me remember. Ah, oh, yes. I recall that they left the fireworks in an open area just next to a house down the old road. But the very next day, all the fireworks were nowhere to be seen. The person in charge of the fireworks was so anxious that they went straight back to the city to find a solution. Oh, 
The villagers here are worried too. The fireworks missing can only mean that there are thieves about. There are elderly and kids in the village, you know? Although the Milliveth are stationed here, no one dares to go out anymore. I understand. Please help reassure the people in the village and tell them everything's going to be fine with the Millilith standing guard. Traveler, let's go investigate the place where the fireworks were stolen. Stolen here. The thieves must think there are mostly elderly and children living in Chinksa village, all too weak to defend themselves. Otherwise, they would never dare commit such a blatant crime. This is absolutely awful. We cannot let such a matter go unpunished. Let's see if we can find any clues here before we plan our next step. They lead. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. The footprints continue here. Let's keep following them. Sir, please, this is all just a big misunderstanding. A misunderstanding, you say? If so, then tell me, why are you hiding here? Please, good sir, this really is just a misunderstanding. <laughs> I would never dream of getting anywhere near the Feiyun Commerce Guild shipment. Something's happening over there. Let's go have a look. Oh, the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It must be... Please, save your breath. Restrain this fellow! Tightly now, we mustn't let him get away! Yes, young master. Uh, I was sure it was an evil spirit. Turns out it's the treasure hoarders again. Xing Chun Chun Yun! Hello! Well, hello, dear traveler. Our fates cross once again. What brings you here? Uh, excuse me. Please, tell me what is happening here. Ah, yes. Allow me to explain. It so happens that every year during the Lantern Rite, the Feiyun Commerce Guild transports supplies to various villages outside of Liyue Harbor. Family rules stipulate that the supplies must be personally escorted by a family member. Because my older brother went last year, the duties have fallen to me this time around. Oh! So what's Changyun doing here? Changyun happened to be visiting, so I cordially invited him to join us for the journey. say he thought there was an evil spirit. I see that you are not familiar with the story of old. It is said that fireworks were once called firecrackers and were used to ward off evil spirits and the like. In ancient times, Liyue was plagued by evil spirits. As people gathered together to celebrate the annual festival, the Yang energy would intensify and evil spirits were thus attracted to the fringes of the city by the strong scent. Liyue Harbor was under the gracious protection of Rex Lapis, so the spirits dared not enter the city. However, they still lingered near the city gates and pestered the passers-by. 
In order to drive the spirits away, people made firecrackers and lit them near the city gates. The flashes of light and loud noise successfully drove the spirits whence they came. This festival is now known as the Lantern Rite. It was my intention to travel around to see if there are any malicious spirits lying in wait for passers-by. Since I happened to have a shipment of goods to deliver, and our course was through the mountains, I naturally thought it best to have my thaumaturge friend traveling alongside me. Sincho said he learned the story about evil spirits from an ancient text. The text vividly describes the appearance and even the whereabouts of the spirits. Anyway, when we arrived at the area, Chongyun sensed an ambush about to take place. Upon searching the area, we found a group of treasure hoarders. They tried to flee the moment we were upon them. Fortunately, I was swift enough to catch one of them. Your timing couldn't have been more fortunate. We were just preparing to send them to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. He insists the matter is merely a misunderstanding, but things seem quite clear as I see it. Good, sir. Just hear me out. Everyone knows the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Had we known it was your merchant caravan, we never would have dared to attack. The master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild is famous for his generosity and noble deeds, a, a, a true hero of the people. So, you see, this is nothing but a big misunderstanding. We, we didn't want any trouble with the guild. What you mean to say is that you were targeting someone else then? Well, who was it? I... uh... well, uh... well, just trust me. We were definitely not trying to steal your goods. Please, please believe me. Master Singcho, I would like to borrow a few of your staff to escort the thief to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. As for the bounty, we will pay you afterward. It is my humble duty to uphold justice. No remuneration shall be necessary. Come then, see that this thief is taken to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Yes, young master, leave it to us. You heard him. Take this man over there and make sure he's secured. Tie each of his fingers separately if you have to. He's not gonna pull anything under our watch. Wait a second. Please also deliver this message to the Ministry of Civil Affairs. <clears throat> it's very likely that this thief is related to the recent fireworks theft in Chingsa Village. Make sure they have someone question him. Thoroughly. <laughs> so the plot thickens. Is your task clear? We mustn't disappoint the Yuang. Yes, young master, I understand. We'll be on our way. I've heard many good things about you, Master Xingqiu. Thank you for your assistance. I hardly lifted a finger. Think nothing of it. Everyone. My intuition tells me that there could be more than one group of treasure hoarders in this area. More than one group? Oh, you've got quite a keen eye too, Chongyun. During our search, I found scattered sets of footprints differing from those on the road. There may still be other treasure hoarders waiting to ambush passers-by. When I was chasing the treasure hoarders earlier, I noticed that they were nearly unarmed and very few in numbers. If they truly intended to ambush the Veiyun Commerce Guild, they must have overestimated themselves. If you ask me, they didn't seem to be staging an ambush, but rather it appeared as if they were waiting for someone. It appears they may be the thief's accomplices. They were probably hiding here to wait for the stolen goods. What exactly are the stolen goods, if I may ask? Taking advantage of the elderly and children. What a loathsome group of criminals. Lady Kuching, don't fret about manpower. Chongyun, let's go lend them a hand in Chingsa Village, shall we? Yeah, just leave it to us. We can handle a bunch of thieves. Thank you. That will help alleviate the crisis in Chingsa Village. Unfortunately, the footprints we were following end here. I don't know where we should go next. It seems we were only a moment away from catching all the treasure hoarders. Aww... Ka-ching? <laughs> Thank you. Master Xingqiu, I'll leave Chingsa Village under your watch. Most assuredly, Lady Kuching. <sighs> it's fortunate our paths crossed with those two. It's so cool to fight for justice! 
the thieves who stole the fireworks haven't revealed themselves yet. I'll go have a look around. Traveler, please go take a rest in Chingsa Village. I've troubled you enough already. I can handle the rest of this matter myself. Uh, Kuching, are you planning to look for clues all for yourself? Um, somehow that doesn't sound like a very good idea. Oh, wait! You're in the Liwa Chising! Why don't you ask some of your subordinates to help? At least it'll be safer than investigating on your own. Yes, I agree, but we are short-handed at the moment. I can handle these trivial matters myself. The fireworks that were transported to Chingsa Village were quite bulky. They couldn't have gone far. Way I see it, if they were clever enough, they would conceal the stolen goods somewhere and then come pick them up later. All I have to do is find out where they hid the fireworks and then return to the location with reinforcements. Don't worry. I am not reckless, and I won't carelessly alert the thieves. You can certainly trust me by now. Well, when you put it that way... It's settled then. Traveler, Paimon, please go get some rest. I'll go find you in Chingsa Village when I'm done.